Plymouth away again next Saturday lunchtime. Thanks, people. Um, so there's quite a lot of work to be done this week, for sure, with two important away games. But Leeds don't want to slip up and miss the first one of those fixtures. Not particularly now, because Ipswich have been held to a draw earlier on in the day against West Bromwich Albion, a 93rd minute equaliser required by Ipswich to claim even a point. And so that means that Leeds United and Ipswich are level on points in the table, but Leeds remain above Ipswich currently on goal difference. So there's an incentive again for Leeds here, just for the, having closed the gap with Ipswich, just to then open the little gap on Ipswich. Yeah, I think what's important from the player's point of view is yeah, you forget all about that, in that the most important thing now is the team in front of us, and that is Rotherham. Get those three points. Leeds United line up as they did against Bristol City in the last championship match, and as you can see there, Connor Roberts is amongst the potential replacements. Rotherham expecting to go five at the back, and uh, you know you're in for a game when they've got Cafu playing. <laughs> and uh, Adolphin is the man who scored the equalising goal for them in that meeting that Tony referred to earlier on in the season. I actually have got uh, Cafu's shirt and I have played against him, England versus Brazil in America, uh, where we chased each other up and down for 90 minutes. My feet had so many blisters on, he was some player, but uh, we drew 1-1, so there we go. I don't think it's the same one. Don't you think? If it is, <laughs> he's doing well, to be fair. <laughs> I mean, he was quick, Cafu. I'm saying the closest you got to him was when you swapped shirts at the end, but that might be very, very unfair. Uh, it is unfair. He was not quicker than me, but I wasn't quicker than him. But for some reason, he kept going every single time. I've told him to stop, but he didn't understand. He was an <laughs> excellent player. <laughs> um, so the two teams head into their respective halves here. Um, we are live beyond the UK and Ireland with a visual coverage so great to have the global whites along wherever you're watching whatever time of day it is heard from New Zealand already where apparently it's 3 a.m. and the kettle's going on kettle come on <laughs> um, plenty more will be watching I'm sure we watch parties US and beyond Scandinavia wherever you're watching great to have you along uh, for the ride here and it usually is a ride isn't it with Leeds United let's face it things are Seldom straightforward. We had ample evidence of that in the FA Cup replay against Plymouth in midweek. Leeds completely dominated the second half and large stretches of the first half, in fairness, created loads of chances and yet the game ended up going to extra time. I think if there's a way of making things a little more difficult for ourselves, we, we certainly find it, don't we? However, saying all of that, our efficiency needs to improve, yet we are still winning football matches. We are unbeaten, five in a row in the league, and that's impressive. Efficiency, Daniel Farker's current favourite word, as uh, we learnt in the aftermath of the last championship match, the victory at Bristol City. And again, same scenario, Leeds created lots of opportunities, took just the one, but that proved good enough to win the game. We're almost set for the start here. Well, Patrick Bamford thought yeah. he was <laughs> kicking off, didn't he? But uh, A bit confusing. He's had to be put right by the referee because it's Rotherham who will start the game. Andy Madley is the man who's in charge for this one this afternoon. And we are underway. It's a misty, murky February afternoon. There's a slight chill in the air, nothing too dramatic, but there has been snow in West Yorkshire this week. Heavy rain also. Today, a much better day as the ball immediately goes behind, and that could be an early corner kick. It is indeed an early corner kick. Well... We're inside 20 seconds when Rotherham get their first chance from a set piece to put the ball into the Leeds penalty area. And that little twinge of anxiety immediately arises because we've kind of seen this sort of situation previously. Haven't this we? is a film that I've seen many a time, but yes, we come back strong once we concede. But let's not talk about that, Brent. Let's uh, clear this one up the field uh, and crack on and start pushing Rotherham back. But yeah, corner kick to Rotherham. Yeah, so leads to defend as the ball is swung into the near post and it comes off Jorginho out to Cafu on the edge of the penalty area delivered back into the middle Melier goes and punches hard and far and Nonto goes on the chase to try and get to the ball Rotherham defend successfully with Tihi 
back into his own half and the keeper Johansson comes out to the penalty area he delivers a long long ball forward and it's Firpo who we heard from in the build-up to kickoff who chases out on that far side Leeds still having to defend here as Firpo blocks and it comes off Cafu and it goes out for a Leeds United throw in all right well first thing is we need to start playing don't we firstly uh minute and a half certainly has been all Rotherham's I think there's no doubt we've already seen the tactics of Rotherham they will go for those set pieces so throw ins corner kicks free kicks that's when they'll put the, the big guys up apart from that they'll defend in plenty of numbers three at the back which obviously it will be a come a five and we need to work out how to break that down Archie Gray plays the ball back to Joe Rodon on the edge of the penalty area Archie Gray keeping his place at right back Connor Roberts on the bench Jorginho to Nonto goal scorer in the last couple of matches as the ball goes out in front of uh, Rotherham's head coach another one of those teams who come to take on Leeds having changed the manager since the last time they met so Liam Richardson in charge at the moment as the ball is played forward by Jorginho to Nonto first time ball into the middle Somerville oh goodness me it looked like he was just going to sit up for him there but it was a little too far ahead and keeper Johansson clears as far as the head at least of Junior Firpo first good ball into the penalty area for Leeds United almost produces something well actually it should have been a better ball into the penalty box because I think that was quite easy to find Somerville he was in acres of space no defender anywhere near him really good excellent one touch play down this right hand side and once again we just can't find that final ball so Johansson the Swedish goalkeeper single international cap is uh, miles out of his goal to take this free kick Ampadu trying to defend on the edge of the penalty area Jorginho back there helping out now Bamford also can't find Somerville with the ball out it's picked up by Kyoso and then it goes back into Rotherham territory and all the way back to the goalkeeper no wins away from home yet in this championship season Rotherham the only other team that uh, held a similar statistic was Plymouth Argyle that they won in their last championship fixture away at Swansea I've told you about saying those sort of stats <laughs> yeah. it's just a fact as the ball comes into the penalty area Rodon intercepts and Ampadu helps it on to Kamara and Kamara moves it up and over the halfway line to Somerville on it goes looking for Jorginho Jorginho can't get to it strong challenge from the skipper Sean Morrison but uh, he's hurt himself making that challenge and he immediately drops to the ground and may require treatment here well he's certainly in a, a bit of bother Jorginho knew exactly what was coming and that was a a fierce challenge but didn't seem uh, as if he's injured himself he's back on his feet he's fine they have had all sorts of problems losing central defenders Rotherham to injury Ayala's one of those who's out for them for a considerable time so um, they're down to the last two currently as Somerville plays the ball into Jorginho into the middle Bamford just across his body couldn't quite get enough power and the first save of the game is from Bamford's shot made by Johansson lovely play down the left hand side and when Jorginho just fires it in I think if it went to his left foot in step would have been the way to go instead he's just trying to jump out of it go with his right gets contact but not the best contact Ampadu touching Klukas in the middle of midfield rather than over on that far side blocks made successfully by Somerville comes for Gruef who just puts it up over the top Bamford will chase just in case a Dauphin comes off a Dauphin good chasing paid off and um, Leeds have a throw in midway inside that Rotherham half. Well, this is more like it, pushing Rotherham back, making them defend in and around their 18 yard line. Firpo looks for movement. Jorginho and Somerville ahead of him. Somerville gets the ball. Jorginho has it now. Quickly taken away from him and knocked into touch for another Leeds throw in. Firpo remains in place to take it midway inside that Rotherham half in front of the east stand Kamara makes a run it goes shorter to Jorginho comes into the path of Somerville 
Somerville out to this right side to Nonto. Nonto has a run up wide right in Archie Gray. Gives it to him now. Gray back to Nonto. He returns it. Gray taking on the marking player. Little ball in field to Bamford. Just outside the box, Somerville. Looking at his options. Somerville comes out wide to Nonto. Right on the edge of the penalty box. In it goes to Bamford, just outside the D. Bamford lays it back into the path of Gray. Leads keep possession. Gruev back out to Gray. Right side of the penalty box. Closer to the near side touchline. Comes back up a bit to Gruev. And then back to Gray on the near side touchline. Finally, he is tackled successfully. And the ball goes out to play off Revan for a Leeds United throw in. Last 30 seconds is kind of more of what I expected, really, that we have plenty of possession around the box with lots of opposition shirts trying to stop us filling those spaces up. But we've got tricky players, I'm sure, that can then produce something like Jorginho here. Jorginho, good work up in, into the penalty area. Gets it to Bamford. Shot is blocked. Still potential there for Leeds before it's just whacked into touch. Jorginho has a word with the referee, maybe suggesting he was fouled on his route towards goal then. Leeds get on with again. Oh, Gray surely is fouled there. The whistle yep. duly goes. Certainly was. Jamie Lindsay with a poor challenge, but Jorginho once again showing the ability and strength that he has got. And then there's something at the end of it as well, just slaloming through one, two, and three. Wants a push, but I think the advantage was well played because if Bamford then scores, that should, goal should stand. So Somerville to take the free kick just in from the near side touchline. There's a one-man wall between Somerville and the edge of the penalty area. Curled in right-footed, Jorginho and then Gruev behind him. Neither can divert the header on target and it goes over the bar and behind for a goal kick. Not sure Gruev is known for his uh, heading ability in the box, but he does get there. It come to him quickly, a little low, never quite gets it on target. But Gruev has been sensational, hasn't he, in that midfield? And once again at Plymouth in the driving rain, some of the challenges he made were, were really good. His range of passing was uh, excellent as well. So he really settled into that role, having waited for his chance. Johansson ball into the Leeds half. Kamara can't get it, Rodon has it as now does Archie Gray. Back it goes to Gruef. Takes a moment, changes the direction of play, goes left and now Furpo. Somerville in his own half. Short ball, play to Rodon. Now he can step forward, Joe Rodon, which he does at some pace, and works the ball wide to Glenn Kamara. Kamara is up to the edge of the penalty area. Kamara onto the overlapping Furpo. Furpo with the ball back and it's gone in! Touch from the near post, and Leeds United are in front in the early stages here. Cross in from the far side, deflected past the keeper, Rotherham appeal. Leeds are in front, Leeds 1, Rotherham 0. Well, I'm just looking at Rotherham keeper and all the defenders, actually all the players, are certainly appealing about something, but it was really good play. All started by Joe Rodon stepping out of defence with the ball, and Kamara made a, a run earlier forward. Stayed on that left-hand side, got the ball, and from there, the overlap from Furpo is excellent. The ball gets played back to him, and just put it in on area. And there you see Bamford, a few ricochets. Are they saying it's handball, I wonder? That's what they're saying. <laughs> I just, yeah, it's high, it's come up. That does look like a, a right arm, but I'm going, no, it's the chest. It's the chest. Let's have a look. Well, I paused initially in the description of the goal because wasn't clear how that one had made its way into the back of the net. I think there's more than a suspicion that Patrick Bamford may have seen the ball come off his arm as he moved towards the then at the near post. Listen, it doesn't matter. The ultimate outcome is Leeds United are in front. Rotherham are very, very unhappy. Liam Richardson down below. But the goal stands. Leeds have scored. Leeds lead. And uh, at this point, someone will say, yeah, but VAR. Yeah, but there is no VAR. There is and is there. I quite like that. <laughs> <laughs> then they'll mention blue cards and all this sort of stuff, but let's see it again. 
Um, does it actually hit him? Maybe that, oh, let's go with question? that one. Yeah, let's let's say it didn't hit him, but he, no doubt the arm does make a move towards the ball. I was trying to see if it actually hit him high on the chest or high up on the arm. I think initially like off neither. the defender, wasn't it, the cross? Yeah. And then Bamford moved in towards the ball. The question there would be, did he make contact as he moved a sort of shouldery type arm in the general direction of the ball? Uh, quite a, sh <laughs> a shouldery type arm, I love that. <laughs> I'm hedging my bets. Yeah, here. good idea, good idea. I think the, it doesn't matter. It doesn't well, matter. The goal's given. The That's goal it. That's is all given. that counts. And so Leeds are in front and Leeds have a throw in on the halfway line. Just the sort of start that Leeds will have wanted to make to this game. Rather, I'm sure, arrive with a, a game plan that was something based around the idea of containment, perhaps. Um, but that becomes that little more difficult with the away side behind here. But trying to fight back quickly. Maybe they'll have a, a sense of anger about the uh, manner of the goal that will inspire them in their comeback here. They have the ball with Revan taking on Nonto, he's gone past him, he'll get the cross in, Rodon, that's a nice clearance, it wasn't just a clearance, it was a pass, and now Nonto wriggles his way through a couple of challenges, not fouled, says the referee, Andy Madley lets the game continue with Cafu playing the ball out wide, right side to Kioso. back it comes to Cafu, and then towards Klukas on the halfway line, distinctive ginger-haired figure of Sam Klukas, we've seen in opposition to Leeds and a number of guys is previously. Yeah, the Hull, West Brom, I think. Uh, yeah, and others, I think, as well. Hull in particular, uh, one that uh, I remember. For sure. Stoke, I think, as well, yeah. Yeah, Stoke. Jorginho with the ball on the halfway line. Sets off on a run, Jorginho, little step over. Played in, well, Bamford, for a moment there, looked like he was going to get just inside the run of Morrison but the defender stood big and strong and kept him off it. It's a wonderful ball, you know, it really is, because the pace on the ball just says, go on, on you go, but here we go again. Oh. Did he touch it? That is the <laughs> that is the $64,000 question. We'll put it this way, if he did, it, it may have been with an arm. Should we go with that? <laughs> OK. I'll go with that. Let's go with that. Right, well, I actually, think it's really important now <laughs> to try and get this second goal nice and early, put them to the sword. Rotherham under pressure here. Furpo's done well. Oh, he's offside. Um, Somerville when the ball spun in his direction. So the flag is raised down below and Rotherham will have a free kick on the edge of their own penalty area. Somerville big loved as ever. And Daniel Farker back from the FA Cup coat to the championship coat. He'll be dusting off the FA Cup coat again for that uh, trip to Chelsea we've got to look forward to in a couple of weeks' time. Midweek FA Cup fifth round tie at Stamford Bridge. So the games keep coming, as is always said, in this league, thick and indeed fast. Relentless, aren't they? Yeah. You know, they really are, and I think the whoever picks the uh, fixture dates and times really has not been favourable to us no, in fact the complete Swansea opposite. and Plymouth away in a week would be uh, yeah. a great example of that so the players and indeed the commentary team will not be spending an awful lot of time at home next week uh, and haven't had a lot of time perhaps this week Leeds only returned from Plymouth on Wednesday so they travelled on Monday so that became a long trip with a long game in the middle of it so there hasn't been a great amount of recovery time for these Leeds players. Just but a little push there, wasn't it, from Ampadu, and down he goes, Cafu. So Rotherham have the free kick opportunity to pump a ball forward here from just inside the Leeds half. Rodon defends and defends well with a header away. Bamford goes in to try and win it off Peltier, former Leeds man. And then Rotherham start again from the halfway line. Ball played to Cafu to look forwards. There's a runner through the middle, but the ball hits Ampadu on the back of the head and uh, didn't get anywhere close to Jordan Hugel. Yeah, and Hugel is the one that they're going to be aiming for, whether it's you know, free kicks and just whipping in crosses. Uh, and Rodon, I think that's a good matchup. Rodon's been superb this season. We'll need him in this game for sure. Nonto operating at right back here as Archie Gray been taken inside, but Nonto's done an excellent job in that position. 
And now he can get forward because he's been played in by Jorginho. There's space for Leeds to operate in here as they come forward. Nonto, midway inside that Rotherham half. Jorginho just lays it onto the foot there of Archie Gray. Gray will play it in field back to Jorginho. Who goes back to the centre circle to Ampadu. All the white shirts up in that Rotherham half as Ampadu goes wide left side to Firpo. Comes back into his own half to Ampadu. Square across the back to Joe Rodon. And Rodon out wide to this right side where Gray's got a bit of time. Way up his options. Back to Gruiff. Gruiff back into his own half to Rodon. And Rodon will help it all the way back to Melier. Leeds intent on keeping possession. Rodon. Out wide, right side. Gray traps it well. Sets himself up for a move forward to Nonto now. Nonto's up to the edge of the box. Tackle comes in from behind Nonto. Big shout for a free kick. No. Referee gives nothing. A good challenge. Got a piece of the ball. Nonto goes down, but... Oh, that's a late that's one. That's a poor Rodon one. one. Rodon down below. That's a real poor one. And Rodon had long since played the ball back to Melier, and Hugill came straight in, caught him just above the ankle. And Joe Rodon does not react like that unless there is a serious discomfort. The card is out, and it will be a yellow for Hugill. Well, he's a little fortunate to get the yellow. Rodon's made of sterner stuff. He'll be up. And Hugel, I think at some point, will be uh, feeling the effects of a challenge from Rodon. Yeah, a bit naughty, that. Here it is, always in charge. It's just so late. And that what's really lucky there, actually, normally the weight goes on the, the foot, and that's when you get a lot of the problem. Fortunately, they were just sliding away when Hugel connected with uh, Rodon's ankle. So hopefully no, uh, no damage done. Archie Gray, well, an immediate test for Rodon because he's given the ball by Gray. He works it across and then back out to Gray on this right-hand side. Jorginho back to Gray, little to change between those two. Rodon across the back to Ampadu, has Firpo waiting out left for him. Firpo on to Somerville. Oh. Somerville tried to drop a shoulder, yeah. run beyond the defender, hit him and went out for a throw. Tried to dummy it, he dummy it himself, didn't he? But unfortunately, it, it hit him. But I just look at this Rotherham side at the moment. There, they're, they're kind of there for the taking. We just show our composure, keep playing at a tempo. Leeds win the ball back on the halfway line. Bamford takes the option of going back to Ampadu. He just pushes it forward to Firpo over on the left side, just inside the Rotherham half. Kamara, back it comes for Gruef, and now Kamara return the ball and the pass and now Somerville to Ampadu Ampadu, short ball to Rodon, again leads intent on making sure they keep the ball rather than shuffle around side to side in pursuit of it, Jorginho slips, and loses it and then just uh, catches his Opponent Kyoso there as uh, he was trying to win the ball back for Leeds, so rather than get the free kick on almost on the halfway line. Yeah, just a, a slip from Firpo, unfortunately. Um, just looking at Bamford as well, he's at times looking for the ball you know, over the top in behind the back three, which is a good ploy. And Ampadu had it, we've seen that before, haven't we? That combination work. Kamara, Gruif, now Rodon, and now Gray, chance to move forward. First time ball into the path of Nonto. Gives it back to Gray. Nonto's pass just uh, afforded the defender the opportunity to slide in. Knock the ball into touch. 20 minutes gone. Leads one to the good here. Controversial goal it may be, but one to the good still. Jorginho goes down. Fouled. Just a little nudge in the back of Jorginho as he's heading towards the penalty area there. Leeds have a free kick in a decent position. Yeah. Grabbed his shirt a little bit as well. There you can see a big handful. So Somerville comes over. And again, that one-man wall, this time inside the penalty area. Do wonder what the, uh, what the real usefulness of that single-man wall is. Anyway, he's in there to try and maybe block the eye line of Somerville, who's looking to play this ball into the penalty area. Up it goes, heads up in the middle, bouncing around in the box. Cleared as far as Rodon, still alive for Leeds. Turned by Bamford, 
Trying to look for goal. Gives it back to Somerville, just waiting on the edge of the area. Somerville, ball at feet. Into Bamford, looking for the return ball. Into the middle, cleared away from the near post by Peltier. Good approach play by Leeds. Bamford has the ball once more. Gives it back to Gruff. They're all still in the box here. Given to Short, to Somerville. Somerville to take on his man on the edge of the box. Puts the ball across the middle. Over the head of Ampadu. Arrives at the feet of Kamara on the far side of the area. Now Nonto. Nonto whips the ball in and it's just oh. over the head of Bamford who is heading towards the six-yard box and the touch is off the defender and it's a Leeds corner. That was an excellent ball from Nonto who saw Bamford made the run just the touch from the defender. Takes it away but really good play initially from Somerville down this right-hand side a couple of times gets to some really good areas but Rotherham, well, they're hanging on. So Gruef to take this near side corner kick. Puts it in towards the near post. It's headed away from there by Hugill. Nonto now. Out wide, right side back to Gruiff. Goes diagonally back to Rodon. Now Somerville through the middle. Now Kamara to his left. Kamara shuffles and moves it to Ampadu. Goes back to Gray on the edge of the centre circle. Now Rodon up in that Rotherham half to Nonto. Nonto, defender in front of him. Rolls the ball into the path of Gray. Back it comes to Rodon. Forwards keep making the run, stopping, coming back and making the run again. Kamara, now Somerville. Drag back from Somerville to make space. Bamford, Jorginho tries to put it over the head of Morrison. He just reacts quickly, heads it away, and it comes all the way back into the lead half to Melier. I think it's difficult when Rotherham playing five at the back and the three at the back are just picking up Bamford, which means we have space and a man more in midfield. They really are chasing shadows at the moment. Jorginho being chased currently, goes to ground, fouled again. Little drag back once more as he just accelerated away from his marker. And Leeds have another free kick in the Rotherham half. Taken quickly, short to Gruff. Through the middle for Somerville. Now Jorginho, bit of space in front of Jorginho. Still going, Jorginho! Well, he's put a powerful shot in there, but um, I think he was rising from the moment it left his boot. Didn't go a long way over the crossbar, but did go over the crossbar. Jorginho... It's exactly the sort of areas where you suddenly want some composure from him because he has so much composure when he's on the ball beating people, but once he sees that goal, suddenly a, a lash comes out. And there, make the goalkeeper at least make a save, go left or right. Instead, it was just a, a hit as hard as he could. Unfortunately, always going over. Lash is a good word. Road on with a header, comes out to play near side. Can't find a touch off her. Rotherham head, Leeds throw in. Liam Richardson in conversation down there with Archie Gray, the head coach. Leeds born, Liam Richardson as well. Has a continuing conversation, I think, with Archie Gray as uh, Nonto flicks it on. Bamford does well with his first touch. Lovely ball, play through to Somerville, just ahead of Somerville. Keeper was alive to the danger and got out of his penalty area and cleared it away. Gruff off Rodon. Leeds come again. Nonto down this right-hand side. Men waiting in the middle as Nonto takes it up to the edge of the penalty area. Now Gray, tackle sliding in, but he's evaded that one. Into the middle, headed away from the edge of the six-yard box. Gruff trying to cushion it down to Jorginho. Hugel's back deep in his own half to help out. And Padu races across, does well. Can he not just quite divert the ball into the path of um, Firpo? Firpo goes in to try and win it back. And Firpo has won the ball back and tees it up for Somerville. Oh, he's put it over. Really should have been 2-0 that. Firpo with the challenge. And it all opened up in front of him. And he rolled the ball as he should have done into the path of Somerville. And his shot was over the top. Well, when I talk about efficiency, this is kind of what I'm on about in that it's a great chance. And Somerville of all people because he has been the most efficient. I think this season he's been superb. And this one, almost too much time, didn't keep it down. White shirts everywhere, options everywhere, stick it in the back of the net. Unfortunately, not this time. Really good chance. As Rotherham look to respond, Rodon defends for Leeds, just outside his own box. Has time to control the ball and turn and look forward to Gray. Sees the run through the middle of Jorginho. And it might drop to Jorginho. It does drop to Jorginho. Well, his first touch was brilliant, but he just gave the goalkeeper the chance to get out and gather the ball. But what a pass from Archie Gray.
Tremendous play all round. Brilliant, but plucking it out of the air like only Jorginho can do. Then sending the defender the wrong way as well, but credit to Johansson, the keeper. Saw what was going to happen, got out there really quickly and snuffed out the danger, but brilliant play. Keeper's long kick forward. It's flicked on by Kyoso. Foul on Furpo. So uh, it'll be a Leeds free kick over on the far touchline. And we've had 27 and a half minutes, 26 and a half minutes here. We're in the 27th minute. Leeds have that one goal advantage. I don't like saying these sorts of things, Brendan, but I'm going to say it anyway. You feel that if we score the second one, the really floodgates could open because it's so comfortable at the moment. The initial threat uh, certainly seems gone. We have woken up. We're on top. We're in control of the game. We've got, yes, OK, a, a fortunate first goal, but chances are, uh, are coming. Comfort zone hasn't always been a happy place for Leeds, though, this season. Found themselves in it a few times. Not always with great um, outcomes. And they've just conceded a free kick in a difficult position here, potentially. Furpo it was on Kyoso. Furpo argues his case. And then a little momentary flare-up between him and Cafu. The referee's and assistant is over there and, and just looking at what is going on. Kyoso is the one that's just gone. It's a, a slight arm in the back, but my goodness, you can't give a, a free kick every time that happens. No, it was no more than a, an apps, a, a glance, was it, really, um, that induced the fall, which produces the free kick. I guess Rotherham will argue that they haven't had much go their way so far today, and that one has. And they have this chance to get the ball into the box. Cafu over it for Rotherham. Looks into the penalty area. Plays it in near post. Comes off the thigh of Jorginho. Picked up outside the box by Lindsay. Goes back to Cafu. Wide. Somerville. Good block. Ball out for a Rotherham throw in. Level with the edge of the Leeds box. And there's a, Joe Rodon is down in the penalty area here. Um, hope that's not the ankle again. Oh, no. I think the clear... Um, accusation is that Peltier is somehow involved, isn't it? Yep. The stand on his foot or, or something, hopefully. Once again, it's just a, a knock that he can run off, but here we go with their tactics again. The long throw, we saw that at New York Stadium, didn't we, so many times. They were launching it in from all sorts of angles. And here they go again. Sean Morrison, ball up his shirt currently, wiping moisture off it to get uh, maximum purchase on it as he hurls it into the box now. Heads go up over the head of Ampadu. Drops down near side of off of Klukas for Nonto to pick up. The roar goes up as Leeds think about a quick counter-attack. Nonto hits it rather blind then. It's an easy one to pick up for Kyoso. And it's Leeds who have to think about the counter-attack coming towards them now. Cafu halfway line to Klukas. Back to Morrison. Morrison across the back to his right. Gets the return pass. Teehee. And then Klukas. And Klukas is happy just to roll it back to Johansson. Johansson. Right-footed into the Leeds half. Furpa wins his header on the far side. It goes up in the air and drops out of play for a Rotherham throw-in. As we move up to the half-hour mark in this first half. Peltier. Raven. And then Cafu on the halfway line. Back it goes to Morrison, rather enjoying a spell of possession here. Unlike any so far in this game. Trying to work it forwards now, down the right, and go with a longer diagonal ball. Gray reads it, intercepts it well. When he nods it into space, there's no one in a white shirt waiting. Peltier, who once wore the white shirt, is there. Gives it back to Morrison. Morrison just diverts it back to the goalkeeper under pressure from Bamford. He gives it back to the goalkeeper. Leeds are able to head a little higher up the park. Johansson header won by Ampadu. Klukas intercepts for Rotherham before it got to Nonto. And then another right foot diagonal. Hugo on the chest into Cafu. Rotherham moving forward here now with bodies. 
Challenge is good by Jorginho in a defensive position. So the second one, takes the ball out of play for a throw in. Excellent play from Jorginho. And of course, when he is back in that number 10 role, just has to help out a little bit more defensively, and he, he does that really well. Peltier with the ball, throws it back towards the halfway line. Tihi back into the centre circle. And then just again, clip diagonally forward. Gray hesitates momentarily, lets the ball bounce. And then goes to try and tidy up. Gets the ball up the line near side, off a Rotherham leg and out for a lead throw in. There's not much playing through midfield, is there, for Rotherham? They're just launching it on diagonal, 50, 60 yards. Hugo normally is the target. Jorginho wriggles away from Klukas. Peltier comes in to block him, but then won back by Gruff. Nice Lovely. ball to Nonto. Lins Early. Got four forward here. Jorginho's one of them through the middle. Jorginho, touch and still going. Jorginho trying to get into the penalty area. Somerville now faces up towards goal. Pushed away from goal. Leads on the edge of the box. Now Kamara, now Firpo. And still Somerville going. And he's tackled successfully. And now Rotherham look to counter-attack and... Gruff does really well just to nip the ball off the toes there of Lucas on his way forward and get it to Ampadu. And Leeds have it again in that Rotherham half with Somerville. Promising break on there. Just broke down for Leeds in the vital area. Rodon to Ampadu. Back to Rodon again. Now Ethan Ampadu. On band on. Under pressure from Hugill. Rodon from Cafu. Ampadu hooks it out to Archie Gray on this right side who has more space. He controls and gives it to Rodon. Rodon across the back again to Ampadu. And Ampadu, he goes with the long ball looking for the run of Bamford. Bamford's onside! And he took the ball down and it's just rolled off his outstep as he was trying to control it there and carried through into the hands of the goalkeeper. Nearly a wonderful through ball. There it is. That's what they're always looking for. Bamford, I could see, was trying to run off the Shoulder of the defender two or three times because he knows when Ampadu gets it, he can deliver, and he did then superbly well. Rodon holds it up, rolls it on to Jorginho. A lot of time for him. A little ball played again for Bamford. Morrison, just favourite, got to that one first. He did slightly more on it from Jorginho, and I think he acknowledges his own. Um, Slight error there, because it a bit more weight on it than Bamford was in. Great work by Archie Gray to steal the ball away from Cafu in his own half. And then to keep possession and give it to Joe Rodan, who applauds Archie Gray's efforts. Yeah, excellent. Absolutely excellent. Great awareness, great defending. I must admit, we are finding space. There, Jorginho, just in acres of space. No other player anywhere near him. Ampadu, Kamara, Rodon. Back to Ampadu. And Ampadu back to goalkeeper Melier. Melier in the D. To Ampadu. Back to the goalkeeper. Melier plays it over the halfway line. Morrison will beat Bamford to it, delivers it back. Drops down for Gruff. On to Jorginho. Jorginho moves forward now for Leeds United. Wide run from Gray. And the pass is not into the right area for Archie Gray to get in. So it's uh, intercepted. Possession is conceded. Klukas goes all the way back to his goalkeeper. Under pressure from Jorginho. Ten minutes of the first half remaining. Leeds still that one goal ahead. Hugel rode on with a header to Gruff To Kamara. Back to Gruff. He elects for safety and a pass to Rodon. Gives it across the back to Ampadu. Back in field to Gruff under pressure. Gives it to Ampadu. Ampadu turns and gives it back to Melier. He'll have Melier up to the edge of the penalty area. Ampadu back to Melier. He's just. Um, Waving his hands around saying, give me something here. Not an awful lot on, he might have to go along with this one. Again, chooses, changes his mind. 
goes to road on short instead. Now he might have to go long. Well, Jorginho's waving through, through the, the middle. middle. Bamford's in load of space. Short, Nonto picks it up off Gray. Road on back to Melier once more. And Jorginho this time doesn't make the run. Once bitten and all that. Firpo infield to Jorginho. He's come to get it there instead. Now Somerville rides a challenge. Plays it out to Gray, who's got space down this right-hand side for Leeds. On it goes to Nonto. Nonto takes on and beats his marker. Nonto brushes him off, gets to the byline. Oh, he's brought down. Is that in or out? It's a penalty. It's a penalty. For no. the what is it? A goal, goal kick? kick. I'm terribly sorry, but that, <laughs> that had all the hallmarks. So not even a free kick. Not even a free kick. He must have clearly got plenty of the ball. No doubt he certainly got plenty of Nonto as well. But he did point straight to a goal kick, trying to use his strength, gets in front, a little trip. Defender actually does well to then come back. Wah. Oh, I tell you what, that's not a great challenge. That is not a good challenge at all. Let's have a look. Well, <laughs> no, that is a, it's a foul. If it's inside the box, it's a penalty. I don't think there's any doubt about that. Do you know what I think that could be? An evening up of the uh, of first the goal. goal. That would be my cynical suspicion. Um, because when well, you say what you see, don't you? That's all you can do. And to me, it looked like a foul on Nonto. Question was in or out. And when the referee then pointed in the general direction of the uh, penalty spot, perhaps it was the edge of the six yard box. The initial reaction was he's given it. He hadn't. Well, he had. He'd given the goal kick. But I think that's a. Yeah. I think that's a big call against Leeds there. Yeah. So a clumsy challenge. Nyonto being positive, taking on his opponent. He'll have some more joy. Just give him the ball. Let him run at him. Griff. Ball across the back to Ampadu. Further wide it goes to Jorginho. Jorginho curls a lovely ball into the path of Somerville, just outside the area. Somerville back to goal. Is he fouled there? That's what the fans on the far side think. Still holds the ball up, and then eventually challenge comes in from Kyoso. And you can hear the reaction of the home supporters. There's frustration now from the home fans of what they perceive have been decisions going against them. Leads in the penalty area with Jorginho. Jorginho. Or goes through the gap. Jorginho tries to get it into the middle, just cleared away as far as Kamara. Leeds can come again from the left side of the penalty area. Somerville has the ball. Somerville dances to left and then right. Finds himself some space. A little back heel to Kamara. Edge of the area still. Glenn Kamara gives it back to Somerville. Somerville to the middle. Tries a shot. Blocked. Nonto has it at the right side of the penalty area now. Gray goes out wide of him. Nonto holds it up. Still has the option of Gray. Comes inside instead to Jorginho. Drops a shoulder. Gives it to Kamara just outside the D. Back to Jorginho. Gray is on the near side still in Acres. And then Jorginho goes left side to Firpo instead. Leeds are just playing on the edge of the penalty area now. Jorginho. In it goes. Oh, he made the run. Firpo comes for Somerville instead. Tries to tee it up now for Nonto. For Gray. And he puts his side foot drive in. And the goalkeeper gets hands behind it and clears it away. Really good approach play from Leeds. Patient, patient, patient. And then created the chance. And Archie Gray had his shot on target. Certainly is. Superb play. I've never seen a team defending so much depth and so many numbers yet not get a challenge in. But our passing is crisp. Finding players in space. And they're almost finding the goal. Ampadu. Back to the halfway line to Rodon. Straight ball to Kamara. Now Gruev. Gruev to Firpo. Plenty room in front of Firpo. He goes wide left side to Somerville. Somerville tries to get past Kyoso, but he slips and he's conceded possession. And Rotherham will now try and get out of that defensive stranglehold that Leeds have placed them in. Oh, As, lucky um, boy. Bamford just about fails to win the ball back, but it was a close call. Klukas now, touch was heavy. Bamford's chasing around. Nonto doing a similar job, trying to get the ball back in that Rotherham half. Kamara puts pressure on as well through the middle. And Bamford steps in there to do the same job. And ultimately, it's just tucked back to Morrison on the edge of the penalty area. And finally, they work it out wide to the right side where there's a bit more space to operate in before it comes off the back of Firpo and out for a Rotherham throw in. Teehee's just gone down on his haunches and he's the lucky one that didn't see Bamford. Our closing down was excellent. We really 
got around him. And here's the opportunity for Archie Gray. It goes out wide. That's where the space was. Went for precision with the instep. Couldn't quite find either bottom corner. Straight at the keeper. Yeah, gave the keeper a bit of a chance there. But um, it was a difficult angle for Archie Gray. Relatively unaccustomed to finding himself in such positions. But um, on that occasion, the keeper was on top just. Klukas looked like a handball, nothing given. Klukas <laughs> moves the ball forward, he can't give that one. Yeah, can he? The ball into the penalty area, <laughs> Rodon heads it away. Nonto's underneath it, Nonto smuggles it into touch. Final touch of a Rotherham player, Cafu, wow. interesting. Was that? <laughs> I, I had no know. idea. I'm, I'm not sure Andy Madley's at the same match as us. Uh, I'm not sure what he's looking at, but <laughs> okay, let's crack on. Leads throw in, down below, near side. Archie Gray to take it. Up in the air, the head of Revan. Cafu taking off him. Now Jorginho. Oh, oh, it's broken for Somerville. Somerville fortuitously got the ball there as it went through Kioso when it shouldn't have done, but then he couldn't control it successfully. And it's cleared back to Johansson in the penalty area. Uh, Dolphin, the centre half, he's uh, a lucky boy as well. Missed that one completely. Given away. Now Nonto for Leeds can attack the penalty area. Nonto on the right foot. That's a great strike. And the goalkeeper makes an excellent stop to prevent Leeds going two up. Yeah, really good strike. Attacks the player quickly. Makes him retreat and then just moves it to the right. Opens up the goal nicely. And fires it hard and low. Certainly heading into that bottom corner. But yet again, Johansson this time pulls off a very good save. So Leeds end up with a corner kick. And Somerville has gone across far side to take it. Jorginho, Rodon, Ampadu, Firpo, Gruef and Bamford all in the penalty box. Somerville swings it in. Ampadu, well he was waiting at the back there and the final touch came via Ampadu's head off a Peltier, the defender, and behind for another corner on the near side. Oh, he can't believe it actually came all the way through to him. He thought surely the Rodon defender would get there. There's three of them around the ball, but they don't. Entirely convincing attack on the ball there, but Leeds get another corner with Gruev into the near post, headed away by Kyoso. Nonto delivers it back into the centre circle to Gray. Archie Gray back to Nonto. Back to the halfway line to Rodon. We're uh, moving into the final stages of this first period. Somerville into Bamford. Now Kamara, Jorginho. Tries to play it forward. Appeal for handball against Morrison there. Nothing given. So Rotherham cross the halfway line. Hugel in possession. Just tucks the ball back into the path of Revan. And then back to Tihi. Cafu and Tihi exchange passes. Then it goes back to Morrison. Morrison and then via Adolphin. It goes back to the goalkeeper on the edge of the area. And he goes right-footed, long ball forward over Kioso and out over that far touchline for a Leeds United throw-in. Ampadu is not able to take it just yet because the referee's stopped play for a... Kioso has a problem here. Sustained when he went up to win that header. Yeah, just an, an angled ball. And uh, not too much going on there. Sometimes there, as a fullback, when you are kind of second best, just give the opposite number a little nudge and make him uh, misplace his header. That's what happened there. Two added minutes, board's just gone up. Ampadu, long ball over the halfway line, headed back into Leeds territory. Referee Madley in the way of Jorginho, who attempts to bundle him clear. Madley uh, acknowledges his error. Great work by Jorginho <laughs> to win it back. Brushes his challenger off and traps the ball all in the same movement. Oh. Then his pass is actually over hit. And it comes out ahead of Archie Gray for a throw in. Well, referee getting in the way. Jorginho is a big lad. Johansson, oh, terrible clearance. He just skimmed away from Jorginho's outstretched leg. And then suddenly Rotherham sensed there's something for them. Who guilt? Yep, and just offside. Offside flag is raised just to uh, extinguish their hopes. 
So it'll be a Leeds free kick through the middle as we move into the second of the added two minutes. Hugo, you know what sort of player uh, he is. Always looking to bustle in and around the 18-yard box when the crosses come in or they just get launched up top to him. But he's had precious little decent service in this game so far. Melier. Amford takes it down on his thigh. Tries to turn and then wins the ball back at the second time. Asking nutmegs from Bamford just behind Summerhill. What a shame. Summerhill almost wins it back at a stretch for Leeds on the ground. It's cleared up towards the halfway line to Ampadu. Lovely uh, initially from Patrick Bamford there through the legs of his opponent. Just couldn't put the ball in front of Somerville. Been watching Jorginho, hasn't he? <laughs> <laughs> Clearly. But good play. And every time Rotherham get it back, of course, they look up and there's only one real player that's further up the pitch, and that's Hugel. You pick him up, get someone in front of him, we quite easily win the ball back. Melier. This will be the last action of the first half. And Julie there, the whistle is blown. So as Leeds head to the half-time tunnel, it's a pretty familiar story. Complete control from the home side in this game so far, but actually just the one goal to show for it, and that probably Patrick Bamford's. Yes, and we should certainly be you know, further ahead yet again. I thought the first couple of minutes was a, a little bit worrying. We started a little slowly, but after that we were dominant, we took control. We got, uh, let's be honest, a very fortunate goal, whether it's handball or not, but it's in the back of the net. I thought we should have had a, a penalty anyway, so it kind of evens itself out. But when we have chances like the Somerville one, something like Archie Gray, you know, one of those needs to go in. Should be way more comfortable. However, we are dominant, we've played well, and let's keep going. Rotherham coaching staff lingering a little while so that they can have a word with the referee as they all depart the playing surface. Half-time scoreline here is Leeds United 1, Rotherham United 0. Ready to give the signal, big smile on the face of the lead striker. And off we go. Big half of football for Leeds. Elsewhere, results are very much in Leeds' favour currently. Melier. Back on the ball. Just looking to play it out to Rodon. Rodon helps it on to Jorginho. Back it goes to Joe Rodon. And he delivers it back to Melier on the edge of the D. Remember Leeds had that energy sapping evening in the FA Cup in midweek away at Plymouth. So maybe they want to get this job done sooner rather than later in terms of a second goal that could be so, so important in the context of the outcome of the game. Well, certainly the idea would be in the first five or ten minutes, get that second goal and then control things, play at your pace, make a few changes when the, the time is right. Rain starts to fall quite heavily here at Ellen Road now as Hugill men over. Kyoso is one of them. Got the runner of Cafu out wide to his right. Cafu up to the edge of the penalty area. Furpo in front of him. Ball is played in by Dolphin and Melier's got to keep that one in, which he does successfully. Somerville having made the block on the cross, the goalkeeper prevented the corner. Yeah, important that the wide men, Somerville and Yonto, do their defensive duties. I think certainly since Somerville came into the team, that part of his game doesn't get talked about much, but it's certainly a big improvement since uh, his debut to, to what he does now. Excellent helping back as well. Rotherham press, so Leeds go back. Melier, Kamara. Oh, Melier let the ball slip away. And you could just sense that the momentum had gone out of that attempt to get the ball clear there. And Leeds almost paid a, an embarrassing price. Suddenly they come at the other end though. Somerville, Furpo, plays the ball towards the penalty area, Morrison blocks and it goes behind for a Leeds corner. OK, everyone, deep breaths, calm down. What was going on there at the back? I think Kamara just plays it back and a bit of a miscontrol. Maybe he's looking up slightly, don't need any of that. Somerville then to deliver at the other end. Raises a right arm towards the far side, headed clear and out. It leads a long time to make a breakthrough from a corner kick on uh, in the midweek cup match. It came right, right at the end of the game. Gruev's corner through a crowd, taking a deflection in for an own goal. 
That one cleared away, so Leeds have to start again with a throw in and Archie Gray in position to take it. Gray looks back to Jorginho, goes further back to Ampadu. Ampadu, oh, again, slightly loose ball, Cafu almost on it. Now Archie Gray striding forward down the right side of the penalty area. Gray knocks it back to Gruiff. Somerville closed down, gives it to Kamara, Gruiff. Gray wide right. On to Nonto. Nonto forced out towards that far touchline. Wants to look towards the penalty area. In it goes to Somerville. Back heel to Nonto. Into Somerville, who's onside. Plays it into the middle. Bamford, Bamford. Oh, it's deflected off the crossbar. Comes back for Bamford. Second shot. Nonto put it over the top. Oh, my. Leeds hammering on the door there. But ultimately, no goal to show for it. Oh, come on. You've got to stick it in the back of the net. Some brilliant play, but so many chances to score. Excellent one-two, wasn't it, with Somerville? This pass here through the legs is wonderful, but Bamford takes his time, and that deflection. A Dolphin just does enough, but Nonto couldn't put it underneath the bar either. Come on, need this second goal. Surely it'll come, just keep going. Patrick Bamford. Almost doing enough, but the ball slammed against the crossbar. And then as it dropped, Nonto could not direct it on target. Rotherham survive. The scoreline remains just 1-0. Kioso. Klukas. Onto the thigh of Kamara. Bamford looks up. Foul there, surely. Patrick Ooh. Bamford. Play goes on. Jorginho sweeps it wide. Nonto has it. Nonto moving forward menacingly here still with the ball on the edge of the box gives it back to Jorginho it's tight, Jorginho goes out to Nonto, tries to give it back to Jorginho, Jorginho is penalised for his challenge and that will be a Rotherham free kick on the edge of the box Just uh, Bamford went to the ground earlier in the move he's, he's up and okay I thought it uh, looked a little more serious than it was, fortunately he's fine but just got to be patient now so keep playing at that tempo. His chances will come. I've got to take one of them. Free kick. Johansson positions the ball in the correct place now. And the heads go up beyond Hugel and Rodon. Drops on that far side for Revan. Tight on the touchline. Leeds end up with a throw in. Nonto. Interrupting proceedings to good effect. Archie Gray to take the throw in for Leeds. Familiar feeling for those Leeds players under the rain here after that uh, experience. It's torrential downpour at Home Park in midweek. Jorginho. Oh. Somerville wanted it in front. Defender was able to intercept instead. Now Rotherham briefly have the ball. Leeds win it back quickly. Somerville. Jorginho. Skips one, plays it through for Somerville. Somerville through the middle. Somerville! Yes! Terrific finish. Lovely build up. Leeds United 2, Rotherham United 0. We like that one. We certainly do. It had to come as well. And it's that man, Somerville. Been an absolute start of this season, he really has. And any time he gets the ball in those sort of areas, normally you expect it in the back of the net. We had a good chance in the first half. He couldn't put that one away, but he doesn't miss a second opportunity. It was really well played because Rotherham in the middle of the park. They lose the ball, and after that, it's a quick one-two. Counter-attack. No one can go with us. And once someone was in front of you, you ain't getting back. But he also has the composure to toe-poke it past the keeper. Excellent finish. 2-0. Brent, I feel a little more comfortable now. <laughs> Terrific goal, isn't it? Yeah. It really is a nice goal. Something a bit different. Swashbuckling football played at high speed and leads players quick and alert and clever. Fashion, an important goal. So Rotherham, well, they really got to come out now, haven't they, and have a, a go at this one.
But there's their problem because where they lost the ball is them coming out, them trying to get back in the game. And as soon as they do, that's it. You know, we've seen it time and time again. That's why, unfortunately, teams will come sit deep because they do come and play and come out. And we will produce that sort of play, that devastating counter-attack. Yeah, uh, just a, a reminder to them why they'd set up perhaps as they had. But they have a chance to hurl one into the Leeds penalty area with Morrison. Almost level with the edge of the Leeds box as he um, launches this one into the near post area. Jorginho runs into trouble and gets out of trouble. Bamford chases out and Rotherham end up going all the way back to the goalkeeper. Great work by Bamford there. It was the little run out, the pressure put on the man in possession that forced the ball back to the goalkeeper. When Rotherham had started all that on the edge of the Leeds penalty, in fact, in, in the Leeds penalty area. Nonto tackled, but Leeds end up with a throw in. Yeah, well played again, Nonto. Certainly playing well now, isn't he, Nonto? Back with confidence, had to be very patient. Of course, had a few issues in the summer, but was allowed back into the fold. His attitude has clearly been good. Got a few cameo performances, didn't he, in the, as the season went on, where it didn't really put up any trees, but eventually got himself in the side, and, yeah, we're seeing a, a good Willy Nonto now. Kyoso for Rotherham. Players forward here, but that comes off the back of Kamara. It's a good effect for Leeds because it drops nicely for Gruith. Now for Pope, back to Gruith. Somerville. Somerville, Leeds goal, leading goal scorer. Sees the ball come out of play for a throw in, which Furpo will take. How many league goals is that? 13? 13. 13. And. Uh, has the ball here, he'll flick on, probably not position he's uh, most happy with it, coming in high. Head tennis in the middle, Gruef to Somerville, onto the chest of Kamara. Gruef again, hooks it on for Bamford, tries to play it for Somerville. Then when it's just put into space, Leeds decide opt against the pressure on uh, Dauphin in possession, who goes back to his goalkeeper. Johansson over the head of Bamford to Kyoso Kamara. Good interception. Gives it back to Ethan Ampadu. That's been their tactics, hasn't it? You know, the, the keeper out to Kyoso on the right, or a Dolphin, Morrison out to Hugel on the left. Long throw, corner kicks. You know, that's about it. They can't really play through us. But certainly defensively, I think, uh, yeah, they're allowing us plenty of uh, a space. And we really are making them defend hard. Road on. Out it goes to Archie Gray. Tries to play a first time ball into the path of Nonto, but uh, it's cleared out for a throw in. Wonder if we'll see some substitutes a little earlier in this game because we're, we're 2 0 up. It'll be a, a nice time. Big week up. coming as well. Lots yeah. of travelling. Yeah, Two absolutely. Big games away from home. 60, 65 minutes, maybe 70. See a, quite a few, really, just to keep control. And there were some really good perf uh, performances in that midweek cup win at uh, Plymouth players stepping up to the plate and again Jorginho now Somerville to Bamford Bamford helps it on Nonto stumbles and the referee says he stumbles into his opponent and instead of giving Leeds a penalty he gives rather than a free kick unselfish and selfish from Somerville could have gone on his own as well here because we know the pace that he's got thinks Bamford's in a better position but didn't quite work out that way. And when Nonto comes in, defender actually does OK. Johansson then will take the free kick. Drops it over the halfway line. Rodon beaten in the air. Gray isn't. Flicked on the second time by Rodon. Nonto loses it. Goes back to Morrison, who can hear Patrick Bamford breathing. So gives it back to the goalkeeper. Furpo's header into a position that Jorginho will try and get into. Not quite successful. And so Adolphin has the uh, throw in for Rotherham. Well, Adolphin takes his time, takes his time, and then gives it to somebody else to take. 
as if Rotherham were the team in the position to kill time here. They're taking an absolute age over this throw in. It's almost like a team that fancies 2 0 rather than 3 0 down or 4 0 down. Kyoso from the throw in, it goes from Tihi to Peltier. His clearance just beyond Gray is won by Rodon. Gruev, nice touch, good football. Gray, lovely football. Can they keep this going? Nonto rides the challenge. Nonto to the edge of the D. And it goes to Somerville. Makes space, goes down. Got penalty! penalty. Be. No doubt this time. Leeds have a penalty kick. Kyoso all over the back of Somerville. Tries to stop him somehow, but when you're in the box, got to be careful. And he grabs him and does pull him down. And Bamford has the ball. Well, there's a lovely little cameo here, isn't there? Is there? Well, we'll see, won't we? Because Patrick Bamford has picked the ball up. And um, did see this the last time Leeds had a penalty at that end. And there then Patrick go. Bamford there is gives the ball to Crescencio Somerville to take the penalty kick. There's a little discussion going on between Cree. Stick it down there and get on with it. Well, I'm going to say, I don't want the discussion. I want it in the back of the net. So concentrate. Get it in that goal. Somerville, who's... Uh, he has been hit and miss with his penalties. Exactly that. Has the chance here. Hands on hips. Goalkeeper, all sorts of movement just behind the line. Referee gives the signal. Somerville bends his run and chips the ball. Oh. Panenka style into the back of the net. The cheekiest penalty you can imagine from Somerville, but it does the job. And it's Leeds United 3, Rotherham United 0. Do you think he's confident? Wow, what a penalty. I never had that much confidence to try something like that. I'd pick a spot and try and make sure I stuck it into that corner. But Somerville, it's brilliant. Full of confidence, already scored today. That's his second goal. And the keeper, got a guess, got a dive one way or the other. See ya, little chip, great finish. Panenka penalties are my equivalent of the playing out from the back. <laughs> they make me really nervous. <laughs> uh, they look fantastic when they work, let's put it that way. And uh, Somerville bags his second. Somerville now maybe looking for a hat trick here as we pass the hour mark. Leeds in control of this game now. And so we should be. Absolutely. Start of the second half very well. Got our second goal. This is now number three, and you don't know how much fight Rotherham have left in them. So full round of midweek fixtures, so Rotherham in action as well. There is a point perhaps at which you say, OK, let's look to the next battle. And their battle is all about staying in the championship, obviously. They currently occupy the bottom slot, and there's a gap as well just above them. Firpo again has been smashed in the, the face by Kyoso. Happened in the first half and now in the second half as well. A little sense that Kyoso is maybe um, one to watch here. Gave the penalty away, of course, as well. Throwing that took forever, which is somewhat strange in the circumstances. Johansson, long clearance back towards the halfway line. Gray wins a header. Morrison. Peltier. Goes back to the goalkeeper, firmly struck, so Bamford will chase. Keeper does well, gets it to Kyoso. Just uh, gets a little return ball, a 1-2 off Tihi, and then slides it into the path of Hugill. But Hugill, look at that. That's proper defending from Ethan it's brilliant. Alperdin. Absolutely brilliant. It's the first piece of decent football, actually, that Rotherham have done. Good passing and movement, but when you get someone like Ampadu who can read the game so very well, well he's already there a yard ahead of Hugill. Good play. Has the ball back again now, Ethan Ampadu to Joe Rodan. And then out wide it goes. Archie Gray's got a lot of space down that right hand side. Infield from him to Nonto. Nonto trying to play it into the path of Jorginho. Blocked. Nonto goes back in, <laughs> wins the ball back, and uh, is penalised. The tiniest of shoves. And Leeds will make changes now as we yeah. um, speculated. Byram and Piru are yeah. set to come on. Not a surprise, absolutely ideal. Somerville, he's the one that's put Rotherham to the sword, give him an hour, 
get him off, get his feet up, and watch the rest of the boys see the game out. Not a bad replacement to make, is it? Biru for Somerville. And then Junior Firpo is also coming off with a really good game. Junior Firpo's had for Leeds. Sam Byram, again, is a, a great replacement. Yeah, and Firpo's played a lot of football in a short space of time after being out for, for so long. Don't want to just keep adding to the load, so another good decision. Changes for Rotherham as well, as they're, they're making three here. Nombe is coming on, the expensively acquired striker. And Rina Motu, who's just arrived at the club on loan from Cardiff City, played against Leeds in the That's uh, right, no. recent league fixture. Yeah. And Eves is coming on, Hugel's day is done. He's had better days, hasn't he, Jordan Hugel? Got no change at all out of Joe Rodon. Cafu, not that one, he's come off. And um, I think they're still working out the final change here, aren't they? And then finally it is executed, and the man who's off is Lindsay. And Nombe is able to take his place up front. I think they've gone, have they gone two up top? They've got yeah. Eves on and Nombe. Eves and Nombe, so, which therefore should mean a bit more space for us to, to play in when we get the ball as well, but they're going for it when they're 3-0 down, which is a bit odd. Could end Bold. up 5 or 6, yeah. <laughs> Bold move from Liam Richardson. Johansson plays the ball out into touch one bounce Nonto lets it go Leeds have the throw in Archie Gray to take it I wonder whether we'll see Connor Roberts for his debut before too long Archie Gray would be the uh, obvious switch there perhaps Sure, he's not anxious to come off because he's in the thick of it. He's played a lovely ball in to Bamford down the right hand side of the penalty area. Bamford holds it up, bodies arriving in the middle now. Bamford goes backwards, and Rodon comes up to help him out down that right wing. And Bamford's ball then in field is inaccurate. Rodon gets it again for Leeds in that Rotherham half. Nice ball to Kamara, helped wide to Byron further wide to Jorginho, look at the space for Jorginho just outside the area step over, step over, still going still going, cuts the ball back into the middle, touches off the defender Kyoso and Leeds have a corner kick that's a really good play from Jorginho but also Kyoso because normally he can just use his strength and brush past people but Kyoso stood nice and strong almost but not quite a little discussion going on I think now as to who was going to take this corner kick for Leeds Gruff has come over to take it on this near side. Connor Roberts is warming up down below. Gruff comes out to the edge of the area to Kamara. Kamara wonders what to do with it, gives it back to Gruff. Gruff back to Kamara. They're all still waiting in the middle here. Jorginho into just beyond Gruff, who made a run into the penalty area. Pass was slightly too heavy and it went beyond him and behind for a goal kick. It seemed to surprise Kamara actually on the edge of the edge of the 18-yard uh, box. I wonder if that's a, a training ground one or one off the cuff by Grove who saw the opportunity, but either way, it's rather from side, they've made some changes. Not much has actually changed though in the way they're playing. Byron. Header drops to Piru. Brushes off the challenge of Tihi. And then as Teehee stays down, Leeds That's a worry. play the ball into touch. Teehee looks in some pain here. Ooh. He kick out at Peru there what as he, he was doing? down on the ground, Teehee? Or was it pure coincidence? He certainly seemed to. I mean, if you're that injured, you don't kick out like that, do you, either? So, which one are you? Here you can see, it's just the way that he came down, I thought he landed awkwardly. Well, he seems to be OK. And physio hasn't come on. And the play will... Well, how will, well, no, he's dropped to his haunches again here. He's hobbling around. Um, and in theory, the play will restart with Leeds being given the ball back, won't it, here? Let's see whether Kyoso um, reciprocates after Leeds put the ball into touch. He does indeed. Beyond Ampadu, it's thrown to Melier. Ampadu applauds. Yep. 
And the game starts again with Leeds in possession. Melier thought about rolling it out. Eve spotted it, so he's thought again. He has it to play long. Pings it out to this left side. Jorginho oh, takes that oh. down. It's a lovely ball and it's great control. And then a fine ball up towards Kamara on the edge of the area. Back to Jorginho, who sets off on a run into a gap that didn't really exist, in all honesty. And it's cleared. Gruev does well. Gets round Eves and heads the ball on both sides of him there. Bamford tries to lay it down for Piru. Klukas in midfield knocks it into the path on that far side of Revan. Won back by Rodon. Gray. Now Gruif. Now Piru. Good sh shuffle of balance from Piru. And then can't quite push the ball onto Jorginho. Klukas has it back in the centre circle for Rotherham United. Down the line it goes. Rodon, great work again. Well, Nombe and Evan, Eve, sorry, have, have come on and just not got a touch there. Nombe at least got one touch, but you're right, Rodon read the danger well. I shoot him out the way. Nelly eight, he's overhit that one. Byron's not getting to it, so it's going to be a Rotherham throw in as we move into the 70th minute here at Ellen Road. Rotherham with the opportunity, a rare opportunity, to try and get the ball up into that Leeds penalty area. They go back if they're going to come forward. Morrison flicked on. Melier will race out towards the edge of the area to gather the ball up successfully. And then could have rolled it out to Ampadu. Stops and drops it to the ground instead. Good noise around Ellen Road. Fans enjoying themselves here. Have to make special mention as well for those who made the trip to Plymouth in Argyle yeah. in midweek who are no doubt all in the stadium as well for this game this afternoon who will no doubt all be at Swansea on Tuesday and in turn back at Plymouth again next Saturday. Some of, one of the coaches got back from Plymouth at quarter past six the wow. following morning. Wow. Most of them got back around about 5, 5.30. Incredible cup, uh, backing for Leeds as Jorginho stepping forward here. Foul on Jorginho. Just um, Rina Mota, leg across him, stop him in his route towards the penalty area. Leeds have a free kick in a position of promise. Little step over, sold Rinomoto. Where the challenges are a little dangerous. Thought he got a piece of the ball, but referee decides to get the free kick. And uh, yeah, I agree with you, Bryn, that there's 2,000 supporters at Prima. just incredible. And the noise they made I mean, non stop as well after getting absolutely soaked throughout the 120 minutes. Really impressive. Big discussion going on. Um, the Brains Trust, Bamford, <laughs> Byram, Gruev, no, no, joined by Kamara. No, no, I'll score. No, you score. No, you score. You take it. Well, Leeds have yet to score direct from a free kick, I think I'm right in saying. Um, so what the discussion is based around, I'm not 100% sure. But, That's um, what it is. Well, you've never scored yes, a free right. kick, neither of you. Are we going to shoot? <laughs> no, let's not shoot. <laughs> what else should we do then? <laughs> Kamara's there, Gruev is there. Hopefully to bring an end to that statistic. Somewhat of a delay before um, referee Madley is happy. Now we're all set. Gruif into the wall. Kamara chases back to get the ball again for Leeds United. Gray. Melier's over his shoulder. Gets the ball now. Leeds are not afraid to go all the way back to the goalkeeper. Quickly delivers long. Morrison will win that header against Bamford. And then halfway line, Peltier out wide, and it's pushed into the path there of Nombe, just outside the Leeds penalty area. Nombe with Gray in front. Oh, great work from Nonto. Just what you want from your wide midfielder, helping his fullback out to great effect there. And there's a yellow card for a just a drag back from Nombe. Really good play. Your wide men just need to help out at times. The, the fullback, fullback just holds him up, and Nonto got back well to step in at the right time and then win the free kick Rodon near side of the penalty area Ampadu, now Byram up the line to Jorginho Byram arriving just too late for the return ball Ampadu always impeccable timing still going oh what a ball, Bamford through the middle runners to right and left gives it to Nonto, Nonto skips past one steps into another 
tries to wriggle his way clear with the ball, but um, fails in that ultimately. And Rotherham managed to get the ball away from the penalty area for the time being at least. Maybe temporary salvation. Well, it certainly is because they can't keep the ball, can they, Rotherham? It's like a bar of soap for them out there, finding it very difficult to keep hold of it for any length of time. Griffith to Kamara. Now Ampadu. In a tough appointment for Liam Richardson, this. Just one win in the games he's been in charge of since he arrived in November. So the team have, were struggling before and have continued to struggle since. Byram. Through the middle, Sam Byram. He's got to get back in position here because that's where the ball's going. Ampadu. Oh, you got to love that as well, haven't you? Ethan Ampadu needed to fill the gap and he did to fantastic effect with that sliding challenge. Again, reading where the problem was, Byron got himself out of position, but Ampadu pushed on when the ball came there. You're right, timed it to perfection. So Bamford off and Joseph on. And Ruiz off and Connor Roberts on to make his debut. So Archie Gray will slot into midfield and welcome Croiso Connor Roberts to Leeds United. A big roar goes up as his name is called and Gruev will love that. Name rings out around Ellen Road. Hear that, that is brilliant. And you know, Gruev being very patient, gets a big hug as well, doesn't he, from Daniel Parker, and rightly so. So, um, it's increasingly looking like a, a Wales backline. <laughs> stop it, Bryn, stop <laughs> Leeds it. Leeds United here, and do you know what? I love it. <laughs> As we've now got only Sam Byram spoiling things on this near side. What do you mean spoiling things? <laughs> <laughs> so, Connor Roberts, lovely game to come into. 15 minutes left, you're 3-0 up. Certainly on top. He can just ease himself into this Allen Road atmosphere. A Dauphin. And Klukas. Peltier, Morrison, pressurised by Joseph, gets it away from him to a Dauphin, 15 to go, Ampadu header, drops for Kioso. now Kamara battling in midfield, Byram Jorginho, again that drop of the shoulder from Jorginho to make space, hold off his opponent, Leeds can open things up nicely here, Connor Roberts have his first surge forward in the Leeds shirt, Stops, does the right thing, gives it to another former Swansea man, Piru. Gray to Ampadu, whose dad played for Swansea, to Joe Rodon, who also played for Swansea. All right, stop with the Wales and Swansea stuff, all right? <laughs> <laughs> We've got to do it all again on Tuesday night. <laughs> Byram, well, he's played a 1 2 there off, uh, it was like a wall pass off his opponent, wasn't it, for Byram? Set off down the channel, but um, just a little hand in the back of Kyoso. And that'll be a free kick to Rotherham. Yeah, certainly was a free kick, but 14 minutes left now. In complete control. It's just all about concentration. I don't see any urgency from Rotherham. I think they want to play at a high tempo to try and get back in the game. Let's hope it just meanders out and we can uh, move on with three points tucked away. Another change coming from Rotherham. Humphrey's about to join the action. Well, after this, anyway. Helped on by Eves, helped back Help by Eves, actually, as it turned <laughs> it the out. first header he's had, and he's uh, put it back towards his own goal. What's the opposite of helped on? <laughs> Archie Gray nods it forward, Klukas underneath it. Handball the call. Well, no, that's not the referee, handball. We know referee that. can't give any of those now, can he? <laughs> so, game goes on. Rode on with a header out to the far side of the penalty area. It's held up there on that far side briefly before Nonto gets in again, really good to get the ball back for Leeds United. Now there's space, Piru, runners. Piru into the little hole for Jorginho. Oh, what a ball, Nonto's in, Nonto's in the penalty area. Ah, oh, cross the face and beyond the far post. Such frustration for Nonto there. Another sumptuous pass from Jorginho. Well, it's, it's great play all round, isn't it? Once Piru got it, started turning, we are at them yet again, and that's the problem for Rotherham. Anytime they come up, they're going to leave space 
He does everything right. Go for that far bottom corner, but you've got to hit the target. At least make the keeper make a save, but unfortunately it was neither. Should have been four. Stays at three. Whisker away from three and three there. Morrison um, at the veteran stage of his career is uh, being taken off for the final 12 minutes or so of this game. And um, Humphreys goes in to fill his position. Somewhat thankless task, is it, going on at this stage? Uh, with your side three down and Leeds very much still at it here at Ellen Road. Absolutely right. Morrison actually uh, ran the quickest I've seen for someone to come off the pitch. He wanted out of there. Ball goes back to Johansson. Slices it into touch. And so Leeds have a throw in in the uh, Rotherham half. Liam Richardson, not a happy return to Leeds for him. I think it's difficult when Rotherham come to a place like Ellen Road. It's really about a performance, whatever the, you know, the result ends up being, but it's certainly something that Lee Richardson wants from his side to take forward to the next game. And out of this one, I can't see what they can take forward. Hence why he'll still be cajoling them, making sure they finish the game properly, do the right things, but it's been a little bit difficult for them. They're looking just a tiny bit ragged now, rather than passes all, all over the place. Keeper's ball out there, and then Chioso's ball forward. Oh. Connor Roberts, well, looked like a great tackle from Connor Roberts, but um, is it the scissor effect that yeah. sees him penalised there? The right foot, that was a good tackle. It's the left foot thing coming and uh, collecting the player. Not so good. Obviously, really fired up and keen to do a little bit in the closing stages here. Connor Roberts. As the ball is played beyond Ampadu, just outside the penalty area. Chance for Rotherham to get one into the middle, and they have a corner kick. This is their first corner of the game, isn't it? Is it or was the one in the first half? I think they had one in the first half, but, I, but that was just a, a direct ball, wasn't it? And Eves this time does get on the end of it. The rudimentary football, but what they'll say as well, we got a half a shot out of it and a corner kick. They did have one inside 20 seconds, didn't they? That was their last one. Huh. So in it comes. They want to make the most of the opportunity. Cleared out towards the edge of the box. Yes. OK, moving swiftly along. Well away, good clearance. <laughs> <laughs> Ball comes out. Difficult skill dropping from high in the air. Why not? Have Certainly a go. But not a not a great effort. So T he it was. He put that one into the upper tier of the south stand. And it will be a goal kick to get the game going again. We move into the final ten, well into the final ten minutes now here at Ellen Road. Kamara. Ball back out to Ampadu. Jorginho deep in his own oh. half. Loses the ball. No foul. Kioso for Rotherham. Chips it up. Melier's underneath it. And uh, second time of asking. Always favourite to win that one. Just padded it down and then picked it up. And the ball comes out to Sam Byram. Ampadu back in it goes to Melier and back to the goalkeeper once more Leeds now moving to the stage where I think there'll be a level of contentment with good possession that isn't it behind Piru so carried forward by Tihi still going Tihi Inevitably, Joe Roden is out there at him, but then the referee has penalised Joe Roden for wow. a nudge in the back. That is soft. That really is soft. He's seen a few of like, those, haven't we, today? Well, yeah, he was falling down. Just a brush, really. Well, nothing, really. Yonto's yeah. got something to say to the ref here. It's just a little touch in the back, isn't it? And down he goes. So Rotherham again with a chance to deliver one into the Leeds penalty area. Lucas hands on hips. Plenty to aim at there. Leeds also back in significant numbers. Every outfield player in that box. 
it goes in over the heads. Good header clear by Rodon. And uh, Archie Gray chases out to try and keep it in play. Can't do that, but Leeds will make another change now. And there's an interesting one as um, Glenn Kamara will come off and Charlie Cresswell will come on for Leeds. Uh, really good to see Charlie Cresswell back involved in the first team frame at Leeds United. So Ampadu should move into midfield, you'd have thought. Cresswell goes to take his place in the middle to defend this throw in. Glenn Kamara can reflect on another good day's work for Leeds in the middle of midfield. Looks like they're going to deliver this one long again. Peltier is the long throw man in the absence of Morrison. Flipped across to the edge of the penalty area. Referee gives Leeds United the free kick. So Rotherham have to make a speedy retreat towards the halfway line. Oh, well, there you go. Nice moment. Charlie Cresswell's name being sung by the uh, fans behind Ilian Melier's goal. Yeah, I'm sure Charlie has been disappointed that he hasn't played a, a lot more. Of course, going to Millwall, getting plenty of games under his belt, but he's come back two leads and found game time really difficult. But you've got to stay patient and you'll get your chance. There's a reason for that, isn't there? It's a winning team, and the manager obviously is going to be low to make big changes to that. But he's taking the opportunity in this game with a degree of comfort in the scoreline. Just to give a few people a few minutes might all be very important. As we've already said, February continues to look like an extremely busy month. And there's a home game against Leicester to come as well. As the ball is played forward towards Eves. Cresswell in there battling with him. And does the job because Eves is harried into the wrong decision there. Just hold him up, don't foul, keep him away from goal, get the second ball, good defending. Good progress made by the uh, youth team in midweek in the FA Youth Cup as well with the penalty shootout win over Sheffield United. And a good draw last night for the under-21s against Arsenal, so all shaping up to have been a decent week Leeds United, I think the ladies won as well, didn't they, last weekend? As the ball goes forward down the right side, Connor Roberts, out wide it goes to Nonto. Is there one last flourish for from Leeds United to come yet in the final five minutes or so of this game? Rodon, Connor Roberts now. Infield to Piru, runners ahead of him, and Gray is one of them. Still going Archie Gray. Just taps it into the path of Nonto. Onto Roberts on the overlap from the byline. Puts it up in the middle. Jorginho's header goalwards. Somewhat lacking in power, but the goalkeeper was able to flop on it as it dropped just beyond the post, probably. But nice build-up play from Leeds again. Yeah, certainly was. Roberts just a little dink ball to the back stick. Standing jump here, so he does enough because he jumps into Jorginho, making it that much more difficult. Out the penalty area, the ball comes before Johansson puts it up in the Leeds half. Cresswell up against Eves, this time a judge to have fouled his opponent. So Rotherham have the free kick. Another change to be made by the away team. Rathbone is the man coming on for them, and Teehee is the man coming off. You just see there, Daniel Barker, he said, well, don't foul him. Just why give away a free kick like that? And that's where I think... Uh, certainly Cresswell uh, is in the pecking order a little bit lower for those sorts of things. It's only little things, but it makes such a difference when you're a centre-half, right decision, you know, making the, the, the right move at the right time, that there, pushing the back. It's just a free kick. This is what Rotherham are playing for. As Klukas seeks to take advantage, ball goes wide. Melier needs to make a save, and he does it to very good effect as well. Largely untroubled for most of the afternoon, Ilan Melier, but when the moment came, he was up to it. Good ball from Klukas, good header as well. And that, I think, was creeping certainly onto the post or could have clipped it and gone in, so what an excellent save. And he has more work to do here now, perhaps 35,261 the attendance here this afternoon. Ball comes into the middle, headed away towards the edge of the box. Peltier through the crowd. 
spins up for Archie Gray, just runs it into touch on this near side. He's got to get back in the middle as, or rather, they're going for the long throw again here rather than uh, a bit of pace about the attack. It's back with, well, Joseph um, claims innocence there. The way you do that these days is to lift your arms in the air, which <laughs> signifies the fact that you made no contact with your opponent. That's a minor thing, Bryn. <laughs> just lift your arms and go, what, me? It wasn't me. Yet, yet again, it's just a, same, you know, a same silly, sort of moment, same wasn't thing. It? Yeah. Don't give these free kicks away. Klukas shoots goalwards. And all of a sudden, Melier has more to do. Two He's chances. He's had to make two saves for our own problems. And that's, that's called experience. That's what you need to learn from. At the other end, Joseph said he was being fouled there by uh, Rathbone, uh, by Rinomota, rather. We're in the motor, gets away with it. Leeds lose possession. A Dauphin across the middle to Rathburn, who goes wide to the left side. And the attack continues with Revan. Back to Rathbone. And then Klukas just outside the centre circle with a return ball. Wide left side, little hush descends over Ellen Road as we move into the final minute here. Leeds about to extend that winning start in the league at least to 2024 Rathbone gets the ball ahead of Byram who atones by getting to the second ball gets it out to Jorginho Jorginho doing his thing <laughs> Yay. finally <laughs> he gets a free kick yeah. he's so strong and balanced wriggles turns this way and that and there's the save from Milia yet again. That's from two free kicks we gave away. Ends up with Milia making two very good saves. That's it. That's the, the edge in, in a game that was closer. That would be more significant, perhaps. Milia. But you can't have that approach, can you? You can't have that mindset. I don't, I'm sure Daniel Fark will demand, as you suggest, that... Uh, Leads keep at it right no, to the very uh, yeah, end. You know, ab absolutely, and that's where it becomes a uh, more of a, a mental asking of questions in that, right, 3-0 up, let's keep this clean sheet now. So as a defender, when you're cruising in a game, you don't want them scoring. Oh, one back well. And now here's Joseph with a chance to shoot on goal. Still going, comes for Jorginho. Jorginho put it just wide. <laughs> and he <laughs> spread eagles himself on the turf. <laughs> in frustration and unhappiness because he knows that was a great chance to get a goal. Well, it was brilliant. No doubt Joseph tried to find that angle that he could have got his shot away eventually when it comes back out to Jorginho. He couldn't find the bottom corner. I just love his little pirouette and fall to the ground just in pure frustration. Could have been another one. This could have been five or six, couldn't it? Absolutely certain, yeah. Still leads racking up the goals nicely. Seven in the last two games. But absolutely crucially, it's the lack of goals going in at the other end. Yeah, which makes the goal difference look even more attractive. Ball is played out of the penalty area. And it's um, helped forward. Archie Gray in there to try and win it back. Rathbone works it away from him, though. And then on this near side, Kyoso has it. And then Jorginho is fouled. And it will be a Leeds free kick. Once again, great defensive play. It really is. and Hopefully it's nothing more than just a knock at the back, but... Gets plenty of the ball. Good challenge, that one not so. Elsewhere, half-time Southampton were losing 2-0 to Huddersfield, but uh, they've just scored their fifth in the second half of that game. So they now lead by five goals to three in the very last few seconds of that one. So Got any good news, Ben? <laughs> I have. Leeds are winning 3-0. That's Excellent. the good news. At half-time, right. Leeds were second, but... The race goes on. What it does mean is that Leeds have just pushed a little ahead of Ipswich now, although there is that game in hand still. But our goal difference is so much superior to Ipswich as well. Leeds concede a free kick 
And a foul on the back of Eves. And um, we are moving into the final of the added time period here. Kyoso just pushes it back to Klukas. And then a return ball to Kyoso, who will cross dangerously. Cleared towards and beyond the edge of the penalty area. Klukas and Spare on the far side. Lead look across the line to see what the assistant's doing with his flag. And the answer is he's keeping it down. Well, so Eves would have counted. Yeah, absolutely. I thought he was on the side. But that was, again, all started from a free kick we gave away here. It's just needless play that is causing ourselves problems. Last chance for Rotherham to get a, a ball into the Leeds penalty area, perhaps. In it comes. Melier, easy catch for the keeper. Who will be anxious to ensure that the clean sheet is kept here. As will all those in the defensive unit, which has changed in the closing stages of this game. But the, um, the general ambition remains the same. Joseph can't find Gray over the head of Byram. Eves against Cresswell once more. This time it's got to be Cresswell's ball. Yep. In the shape of a throw in at least. And that's the last action of the game. Leeds United enjoy another home victory, a comfortable home victory as well. And this fantastic start to 2024 continues with Leeds racking up another championship victory, fully deserved as well. Just the one goal from Bamford, somewhat controversially, perhaps in the first half, then Leeds in control from that point onwards. And Somerville with two in the second half gave the scoreline a proper reflection in terms of the way the game went. The full-time scoreline here, Leeds keep pushing on, it's finished. Leeds United 3, Rotherham United 0. Certainly a, a dominant performance and eventually it was a comfortable performance. First 45 minutes, we're certainly by far the better side. Put our noses in front fortunately, but couldn't get that second one, which will then have really made it that much more comfortable a second half. But we stepped it up, got our goal. Somerville, absolutely superb. And when that goal went in, I have to say, everything looked like a home win. It certainly was. Another penalty as well. Lovely little Penenka. Rotherham, well, they are struggling. But bottom of the table for a reason. We put them to the sword. Really should have been four or five, but we'll take three. And on we go. On we go. Swansea on Tuesday. Plymouth next Saturday. Lots of travelling. Big week ahead. We'll be there. It's gone well here, though, this afternoon because it's finished. Leeds United 3, Rotherham 0.